my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bsc third semester subject zoology animal physiology and animal behavior as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision Unit 1 first important short question is lock and key theory answer the lock and key theory was proposed by emil fischer in 1894 to explain how enzymes work according to this theory an enzyme acts like a lock and the substrate the substance on which the enzyme acts acts like a key each enzyme has a special active site whose shape exactly fits the substrate just like a key fits perfectly into its lock when the substrate enters the active site it forms an enzyme substrate complex allowing the enzyme to break or build chemical bonds easily after the reaction the product is released and the enzyme remains unchanged ready to be reused example The enzyme sucrase acts only on sucrose to break it into glucose and fructose just like one key opens only one lock. Easy tip to remember. Lock is equal to enzyme, key is equal to substrate, only the right key fits the right lock. Next important short question is two holoenzyme. Answer A holoenzyme is the complete and active form of an enzyme that can perform its function in the body. It is made up of two main parts. One, a pinzyme, the protein part of the enzyme, inactive alone. Two, cofactor, the non-protein part, which can be a metal ion like Mg superscript 2, Zn superscript 2, or an organic molecule called a coenzyme like vitamins. When the apenzyme and cofactor join together they form the holoenzyme which becomes active and can speed up the chemical reaction example the enzyme carbonic anhydrase found in red blood cells needs zinc ion zn superscript 2 as a cofactor when zn superscript 2 joins the protein part it becomes an active holoenzyme that helps in the exchange of carbon dioxide and water in our body easy tip to remember a pinzyme plus cofactor is equal to holoenzyme active form next important short question is three excretory products animal classification answer animals remove waste formed during metabolism through excretion Based on the main nitrogenous waste they excrete, animals are classified into three types. One, ammonotelic animals, they excrete ammonia, which is highly toxic and needs lots of water to remove. Example, many fish, frogs, and aquatic insects. Think aqua is equal to ammonia. Two, ureotelic animals, they excrete urea, which is less toxic and needs moderate water. example humans mammals and amphibians like toads think urea is equal to us humans three uricotelic animals they excrete uric acid which is least toxic and conserves water example birds reptiles and insects think uric is equal to urine in dry form easy tip to remember ammonotelic water animals Ureotelic land mammals, ureotelic dry land animals. Next important short question is: Four Malpighian capsule. Answer: The Malpighian capsule is the first part of a nephron, the basic unit of the kidney. It plays a key role in filtering blood to form urine. The capsule is made up of two parts: one Bowman's capsule. a cup shaped structure that collects the filtered fluid two glomerulus a bundle of capillaries inside the capsule where blood filtration takes place when blood enters the glomerulus under pressure waste water salts and small molecules pass into bowman's capsule while blood cells and proteins remain in the blood 
This process is called ultrafiltration. Example, in human kidneys, each nephron starts with a malpighian capsule to filter the blood and begin urine formation. Easy tip to remember. Malpighian capsule is equal to glomerulus plus Bowman's capsule filters blood first. Next important short question is. 5. Ultrafiltration Answer Ultrafiltration is the first step in urine formation that takes place in the Malpighian capsule of a nephron. It happens inside the glomerulus, where blood is filtered under high pressure. When blood flows through the glomerulus, water, glucose, salts, urea and small molecules pass through its thin walls into the Bowman's capsule, forming a liquid called the glomerular filtrate. Larger particles like blood cells and proteins cannot pass through, so they remain in the blood. This process is called ultrafiltration because it is filtration under high pressure through ultrathin membranes. Example, in human kidneys, nearly 180 liters of filtrate is produced every day by ultrafiltration, but only about 1.5 liters of urine is finally excreted after reabsorption. Easy tip to remember. Ultra is equal to high pressure. Filtration is equal to filtering blood. Ultrafiltration is equal to high pressure blood filtering. Next unit 1. Long questions. First important long question is. Explain the digestion of carbohydrates, proteins and lipids in man. Answer Digestion is the process of breaking down complex food molecules into simpler forms that can be absorbed and used by the body. In humans, it takes place step by step in the alimentary canal with the help of enzymes and digestive juices. 1. Digestion of Carbohydrates Mouth digestion begins here. The enzyme salivary amylase, tylin, in saliva converts starch into maltose, a sugar. Stomach, no carbohydrate digestion occurs because the stomach acid inactivates amylase. Small intestine, pancreatic amylase continues the breakdown of starch into maltose. The intestinal enzymes like maltase, sucrase, and lactase then convert maltose, sucrose, and lactose into glucose, fructose, and galactose, which are absorbed into the blood. 2. Digestion of Proteins Stomach, the enzyme pepsin, activated by HCl, breaks proteins into peptones and proteoses. Small intestine, trypsin and chymotrypsin from pancreatic juice convert peptones into smaller peptides. Then peptidases, from intestinal juice, change them into amino acids, which are absorbed by intestinal cells. 3. Digestion of lipids, fats Small intestine, bile salts from the liver break down large fat droplets into smaller ones, this is called emulsification. Then, the enzyme lipase from pancreatic juice converts emulsified fats into fatty acids and glycerol which are absorbed through the intestinal walls. Summary Table Food Type Enzymes End Product Carbohydrates Amylase, Maltase, Sucrase Glucose, Fructose, Galactose Proteins Pepsin, Trypsin, Peptidase Amino Acids Lipids Lipase Fatty Acids, Glycerol Easy Tip to Remember Amy Loves Sweets, Pep Loves Meat and lip loves fats. Amy is equal to amylase carbs, pep is equal to pepsin proteins, lip is equal to lipase fats. Next important long question is to explain the role of gastrointestinal hormones in digestion. Answer The gastrointestinal, GI, hormones are special chemical messengers secreted by the cells of the digestive tract. They help in regulating the secretion of digestive juices, movement of food and coordination of the whole digestion process. These hormones make digestion smooth and efficient. 1. Gastrin Source Stomach G-cells 
action, gastrin stimulates the gastric glands to secrete hydrochloric acid, HCl, and pepsinogen. Importance, HCl helps break down food and activates pepsin for protein digestion. Example, when you eat food, gastrin increases stomach acid secretion to start digestion. 2. Secretin Source, duodenum, small intestine. Action, stimulates the pancreas to release bicarbonate-rich juice, which neutralizes the acid from the stomach. Importance, protects the intestine from strong acid and prepares it for enzyme action. Example, after acidic chyme enters the intestine, secretin acts like a fire extinguisher, reducing acidity. 3. Cholecystokinin, CCK Source, duodenum Action, stimulates the gallbladder to release bile and the pancreas to secrete digestive enzymes. Importance, helps digest fats and proteins efficiently. Example, when fatty food enters the intestine, CCK acts like a signal bell calling bile and enzymes for help. 4. Gastric Inhibitory Peptide, GIP Source, duodenum and jejunum Action, inhibits gastric acid secretion and slows down stomach movement. Importance, gives the small intestine enough time to digest and absorb nutrients. 5. Motilin Source, small intestine Action, stimulates movement, motility of the intestine helping push food forward. Easy tip to remember. Good students can get marks gastrin, secretin, CCK, GIP, motilin. These hormones act together like a team of traffic controllers, ensuring food moves and digests properly in the body. Next important long question is. 3. Write the structure and function of nephron. Answer. A nephron is the structural and functional unit of the kidney. Each human kidney has about 1 to 1.5 million nephrons. The nephron's main function is to filter blood, remove wastes and form urine. Structure of nephron Each nephron has two main parts. 1. Renal corpuscle, Malpighian capsule. It has two components. Glomerulus, a ball of capillaries that receives blood from the renal artery. Bowman's capsule, a cup-shaped structure surrounding the glomerulus. It collects the filtrate that comes out of the blood. Together, they perform ultrafiltration of blood. 2. Renal tubule It has three segments. Proximal convoluted tubule, PCT reabsorbs water, glucose and salts from the filtrate. Loop of Henle creates a salt gradient that helps in water conservation. Distal convoluted tubule, DCT regulates salt and acid balance. Finally, the DCT opens into a collecting duct, which carries the urine to the renal pelvis. Functions of Nephron 1. Filtration Blood is filtered in the glomerulus, waste, water, and small molecules pass into Bowman's capsule. 2. Reabsorption Useful substances like glucose, amino acids, and water are reabsorbed in PCT and loop of Henle. 3. Secretion Extra wastes and ions are secreted into the tubule in DCT. 4. Urine formation After all steps, urine is formed and passes to the ureter. Example When you drink more water, the nephrine reabsorbs less and urine becomes dilute. During dehydration, it reabsorbs more, making urine concentrated. Easy tip to remember. FRSU is equal to filtration reabsorption secretion urine. Next important long question is. 4. Give an account of the urine formation and add a note on the counter mechanism. Answer. Urine formation is the process by which the kidney removes waste products and regulates water and salts in the body. It occurs in the nephron in three main steps. 1. Ultrafiltration Takes place in the glomerulus and Bowman's capsule. 
ब्लड एंटर्स द ग्लोमरुलस अंडर हाई प्रेशर वॉटर सॉल्ट ग्लूकोज अमीनो एसिड्स एंड यूरिया पास इन टू बोमेंस कैप्सूल फॉर्मिंग ग्लोमुलर फिल्ट्रेट लार्ज मोलिक्यूल्स लाइक प्रोटीन्स एंड ब्लड सेल्स रिमेन इन द ब्लड टू सिलेक्टिव रिअब्जॉर्प्शन अकर्स मेनली इन द प्रॉक्सिमल कॉन्वल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल पीसीटी यूजफुल सब्सटेंसेज लाइक ग्लूकोज अमीनो एसिड्स सॉल्ट्स एंड वॉटर आर रिअब्जॉर्ब्ड इन टू द ब्लड दिस एन्श्योर्स दैट ओनली वेस्ट रिमेन्स इन द फिल्ट्रेट थ्री ट्यूब्यूलर सिक्रीशन happens in the distal convoluted tubule dct extra ions like h k and certain drugs are secreted into the tubule this helps maintain ph and ionic balance in the body counter current mechanism occurs in the loop of henle the descending limb is permeable to water but not salts water leaves into surrounding tissue The ascending limb is impermeable to water but actively pumps out salts. This creates a concentration gradient in the medulla. Result water is reabsorbed efficiently in the collecting duct forming concentrated urine. Example When a person is dehydrated the counter current system helps conserve water by producing highly concentrated urine. When well hydrated urine becomes dilute. easy tip to remember filter reabsorb secrete concentrate frsc f is equal to ultrafiltration r is equal to reabsorption s is equal to secretion c is equal to counter current concentration this mechanism ensures the body removes wastes while saving water keeping the internal environment stable next important long question is 5 define brackish water and outline the challenges brackish water animals face in terms of water and ionic regulation answer brackish water is water that has more salt than fresh water but less than sea water it is commonly found in estuaries where rivers meet the sea the salt concentration varies with tides and rainfall making it a challenging environment for aquatic animals challenges for brackish water animals one osmotic stress the salt concentration in brackish water can change frequently animals face water loss when water is salty hypertonic and water gain when water is less salty hypotonic they must regulate their internal water balance constantly to ionic regulation brackish water has varying levels of na k cl and other ions animals must actively control ion absorption and excretion to maintain proper cell function 3 energy requirement constant osmoregulation requires energy for active transport of ions through gills kidneys or special cells adaptations in brackish water animals many have efficient kidneys that can excrete or retain salts as needed gills or chloride cells help remove excess salts from the body some can switch between drinking water and excreting urine to balance water and salts example the mangrove crab can live in water of varying salinity by excreting excess salts through its gills the estuarine fish can switch their kidney function depending on whether the water is salty or diluted easy tip to remember brackish is equal to balance game animals constantly balance water and ions to survive in changing salinity This ability to osmoregulate ensures that brackish water animals can thrive in an environment where fresh water and sea water mix making them unique and highly adaptable.